New week, new spoilers everyone. Today, we'll be looking at the spoilers of Young and the Restless from July 1st to July 5th, and things are getting heated like crazy. Adam and Chelsea are spotted kissing. And Nikki and Jack seem to be confiding in each other again. That's not all, there is some more corporate drama going on too. So, let's get right into it. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Before jumping to new spoilers, let's take a look at all the things that went down last week. Victor has been getting everything he wants lately, especially with Glissade. Not only did he manage to steal it away from Tucker, he got Audra on his side too. Now, he's promised to give the CEO position to Audra, and that was the deal to begin with. But everybody knows Audra can't really be trusted. As Kyle said once, she's a professional backstabber. So, Victor wants to bring Kyle in on Glissade as the co-CEO. With everything that's going on with Kyle and Diane, especially with her firing him, Victor sees the opportunity. And well, Kyle is ready to take the position, but there's a catch. He will be the CEO of Glissade, but only if he owns the whole position to himself and not share with Audra. So, if Victor wants Kyle, Audra needs to go. But in the end, Victor got what he wanted and Kyle agreed to work alongside Audra. Then, there's Katie, who just can't seem to be comfortable with the fact that Claire's her sister. She is still giving her the cold shoulders and that's just mean, after all that Claire's been through. It's giving brat energy from her for sure. And while Ashley's getting her treatment thanks to Dr. Allen, we could see a little bit of romance building up as well. Dr. Allen and Tracy have been getting real close and hitting it off lately. I mean, the man just can't stop complimenting her, and honestly the fans are totally up for this romance, since it's been too long since we saw Tracy dating. Oh, and this week was very weird for Sharon for sure. So, basically she's on a different meds for her bipolar disorder, or at least she says so. And that's been bringing changes in her behavior. She seems a bit weird, and totally not like herself. For example, when she ran into Daniel at Crimson Lights, she suddenly had a flashback of how she once thought Daniel was the reason behind Cassie's death. Then, she was also not really thrilled to find out that Lucy and Faith were friends. She was getting confused with her past memories, and we could see in her face that this could be the start of something worse coming to her. That's not all, the expression she had when she walked in on Phyllis and Nick holding hands also said a lot. It seems like Sharon's about to have a serious and big storyline very soon. On the other hand, Lily's plan on the whole demerging Chancellor Winters is going as smooth as butter. In fact, it was a success. Both the parties, Devons and Billy agreed to it and as the original plan goes, Lily is supposedly acting with Billy, like she's in with him. But in reality, when all the papers go through, Lily will come back to Hamilton Winters and run it along with her brother. However, Billy is under the impression that Lily's going to work him to run Abbott Chancellors and take the lead. So, now, Lily is stuck in the middle, and according to Devon, she's celebrating and toasting it too much with Billy. He's having his doubts, but Lily assures him it's nothing like that and everything is just a part of the plan. In fact, they even got into a little argument about how Devon was second doubting her, and what she wants. After all, she's always handled the Chancellor's side rather than Winter's. So, she could have an attachment to it, and Devon is not really wrong to think about it. But Lily stands her ground that she will be joining the Winter's side at the end. On the other side, poor Billy is all in with Lily and confident about her. Along with that, we also saw how awfully close Adam and Chasia are getting, especially last week. While Sally's over here talking with Billy about how she trusts Adam and that there's nothing to be worried about, Billy can't seem to say the same. He's actually bothered by their bond. Plus, Chelsea seems to be forgetting she has a man too. I mean, she's literally hanging up on Billy, just so she could talk with Adam. I mean, it's about Connor but right now, it seems it's a bit more than that. At least, Adam hasn't been giving off that same vibe except how he really appreciates her as the mother she is. And while they were really happy to meet Connor and see how things were really improving with him, suddenly his OCD flared up again when Connor got back. So, Chelsea and Adam are to wait some more days at the hotel suite, and this situation has brought them a whole lot closer. But that whole game's about to change in the new week. Plus, Mariah and Tessa also finally notices how Sharon is acting differently, and that something is totally off. So as Kyle and Audra start their new journey as co-CEOs of Glissade, let's now get into the spoilers of why and are for the week of July 1st. 
According to the spoilers, congratulations are in order for Billy and Lily and the board votes their way. Jill was hesitant at first and didn't want to risk losing a company that they've worked so hard to build. But after Billy assured her how he and Lily got it all under control, it seems like that persuasion works. Now, Billy's super thrilled to lead the Abbott Chancellor together with Lily, but she's got a lot in her mind. She has to come clean to him one way or the other, especially since they've won. She was never planning to work alongside Billy, and it was all part of her and Devon's plan to blindside him. Devon was all in on that plan, but was Lily? It does not seem so and Devon thinks so too. He can't shake the feeling that Lily will abandon the ship and go with Billy. So, this week we might really see if Lily goes back on her words after the demerger. Over to the Abbots, Jack's caught in the middle of his wife and son's fight. Last week, Kyle basically tried to show that Diane wasn't as credible or fit for the job as Jack thinks, and he just can't take the embarrassment of getting demoted twice. So, after a very heated argument between him and Diane, she makes the ultimate decision of firing him. Now, this is taking a toll on Jack. So, when he meets up with Nikki at the athletic club, she can just feel that something is troubling her. I mean, Jack was there for Nikki at her lowest, so it's only fair for Nikki to want to do the same. She asks him to open up to her and he does, and explains everything that is happening in his family. He talks about how Jabot is having a hard time, and seeing his wife and son fighting is literally tearing the man apart. Since Diane fired Kyle, he is also worried about his future. But Nikki, now, she knows something that Jack doesn't. She knows Kyle is working with Victor and has taken the position at Glissade, which Jack has zero clue about. So, the main question is, will she break the news to Jack about Kyle and Audra working as co-CEOs at Glissade? We'll just gotta wait and see. Now, let's get into the real deal. Adam and Chelsea. It looks like things are heating up between these two. Poor Sally, she's in GC, blindly trusting her man, while Adam's up in the hotel room doing something he really shouldn't have. In the latest Y and her weekly promo, there's a steamy scene where Chelsea leans in to kiss Adam and he doesn't hold back. The passion between them is undeniable and things are definitely getting intense. It's pretty obvious that Adam and Chelsea's old feelings are coming back and if this fiery makeout session is any sign, they're about to explode. So, are these two going to end up in that hotel bed together or will they get back in their senses? It's looking like Adam and Chelsea might not be able to resist the pull and the temptation is real. While we don't know how far they're about to go, it's pretty clear that they will be carrying a lot of regrets when they get back GC, especially when Sally finds it out. Did Adam really mess up with Sally after almost a year of trying to win her back with that kiss? And don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.